My name is Richard Martin. I'm in charge of supposedly of the motorcycles in the Shuttleworth collection. We have before me um, an ABC motorcycle, the significance of which it was actually made by the Sopwith Aviation Company. The machine itself was quite unique at the time in as much that it's got leaf spring suspension front and rear. It's a flat twin which wasn't terribly unique but it's got detachable heads, a carburetor similar to fitted to aircraft. The carburetor itself was also it's, it's a, an aircraft type which is not unusual in as much as it was Sopwith Aviation that built it. I haven't personally actually seen that carburetor used on any other motorbike. One of the unusual things on this machine is the fact that flat twins with the long induction track, uh, this goes down to the engine from the carburetor, they tend in damp morning air to freeze up which of course is a little bit tricky uh, especially on the aircraft they tend to not like that very much so what they've done is taken some heat through a little pipe the other side into an exchanger underneath the carburetor inlet and then it exhausts through here warming the air it's got a similar gear change on the side which you would have on a car with a gate it's got reasonable brakes and apparently it will do 70 miles an hour. The engine was later used when Sopwith ran out of production after three years. The motorcycle itself was too expensive as being built by an aircraft firm and uh, Sopwith actually went into liquidation. They sold off most of the spares to a company in Wembley who sold on the engines, I would imagine, to various people including English Electric who fitted it into the Wren aircraft which was used as a, a training aircraft. We also have an English electric ring in the collection. This uh, particular motorcycle fits in quite well with the collection's aim of actually having vehicles that run, cars that run, and obviously aircraft that fly. We have various veteran cars, vintage cars, uh, pre-war cars, all of which are uh, in running condition, including a Benz, a uh, very early baby Peugeot, Crossley, a Humber, all sorts of vehicles. The motorcycle side also has one of the few Stafford mobile pup scooters, which is designed after the First World War for an expected scooter craze, which, like a lot of these things, it was too advanced for its time and didn't actually take off.